And now, a Tiger Sports Update. Welcome back to Thursday Newsbeat. I'm Alasia Washington, and this is your Tiger Sports Update. From the purple and gold to the purple and white, LSU guard Haley Van Lith is committing to TCU after entering the transfer portal in early April, per Next Hoops' Talia Goodman. Van Lith averaged 12 points, 4 assists, and 3 rebounds in one of her seasons with the Tigers. LSU head coach Kim Mulkey supports Van Lith's decision to use her last year of eligibility somewhere else. From one court to another, the LSU men's tennis team began postseason play yesterday in the SEC tournament. Sports reporter Tate Eisworth was at the match and has the rundown on how the Tigers made a racket. It's the SEC tournament for men's tennis and it's being hosted right here in Baton Rouge. The 13 seeded LSU Tigers faced the 12 seeded Ole Miss Rebels and came away with a strong 4 to 1 win. Teams from all around the SEC traveled to Baton Rouge where LSU is hosting the 2024 SEC tournament. Despite having the worst record in the SEC, coach Danny Bryan is grateful for the opportunity to play at home. Yeah, no, I mean, obviously we're comfortable here having, uh, it's a great opportunity to host. Um, you know, today was obviously, you know, Wednesday at 12 is not uh, ideal for getting a lot of fans out, but uh, tomorrow night we play, you know, Texas A&M uh, at 6 p.m., so hopefully we can get a good crowd. Playing in the first match of the day, LSU opened strong against Ole Miss, taking the doubles point convincingly. Moving on to singles play, LSU grabbed some early wins from Alessio Vasquez and Julian Pinslin, only for the deal to be sealed by a monster comeback from Chen Dong, who lost his first set 4-6, to six, but roared back to win the next two, 6-2 to two and 6-1. to one. Uh, I just keep thinking back to last year when when I kind of lost a match 4-3 against them. Um, it, was, it was very, very disappointing. I mean, I knew like if I started thinking about that, I'd be, I'd be toasted. <laughs> so yeah. I, I had to just keep my foot on the pedal and just keep going. Yeah. Coming into the SEC tournament, LSU has the worst record in SEC play. After picking up a win against South Carolina on March 1st, the Tigers lost their next 11 straight SEC games, a streak that lasted over a month. But two days before the SEC tournament, LSU played in a doubleheader against Alcorn State, winning both matches 7-0 and giving the team a confidence boost before the postseason. Yeah, it was nice, you know, just to kind of, we have a new streak now, you know, we, we have, we've won three straight, so that's, that's a little better than what it was uh, before. <laughs> The Tigers look to remain hot and make their own Cinderella story in the SEC tournament as they face the Texas A&M Aggies Thursday night at 6. For Tiger TV Sports, I'm Tate Eisworth. The Tigers will definitely have their work cut out for them tonight as the Aggies are 18 and 9 overall and 7 and 5 in the SEC. Even if LSU can't get the job done tonight though, their season will continue as they prepare for the NCAA Regional Tournament that starts on May 3rd. Now taking it to the diamond, both the LSU softball and baseball have a jam-packed weekend. Both teams will head on the road for their next SEC opponents in a three-game series. LSU softball will face Tennessee while LSU baseball will take on Missouri. Both teams will have um, a start on April 19th. Baseball will be going in with a 3-12 and SEC record while softball will go in 10-8. and So it should be an interesting weekend for the Tigers going into each match. Well, that's all the time we have for your Tiger Sports update. When we come back, see what some LSU students would do with a whole lot of money. Stick with us.